Ladies and gentlemen, Salamite back with another freaking weekend video. Happy uh, Monday for me. It might be a Wednesday for you. Either way, happy, happy. Glad to be here. We're going to talk diet today, nutrition, some strategies I've been using, and things that I've worked um, with many a client athlete over the years. And again, hopefully we have a general scope of nutrition, right? Macronutrients, calories, what these mean, how to use them, protein, fat, fat carbs. If not, check out 50% Facts. We actually went step by step on a lot of these strategies in old videos. That's a podcast with me and the one and only Jim McDonald, legendary. Um, and we literally give definitions and break down how and when to use them. That's available on all platforms. But today, again, we have more psychological routine strategies that can maybe help some of you out. If you're new, do me a favor, give this thing a thumbs up, help the algorithm, subscribe. New video Monday, Wednesday. Twitch stream every Monday through Thursday. That's four times a week I'm chilling, chatting, answering all your questions, having a good time, playing some video games, and talking mess. Let's dive in. So some of the basic strategies I've been talking about, someone uh, asked me, and even my roommate, who some of you may know, asked about how and when to eat. And one big strategy I have for people is build that routine. And I talk about routine, obviously, with lifting, um, whether it be kind of a superstitious type deal or even just a machine, how I approach the bar, what hand goes first, what step goes first, how I breathe, what I'm thinking, and do this over and over. Um, one, to kind of mentally make that track burn in to our brains um, but it goes beyond that when we come to diet um, our bodies begin to be hungry and build into that routine uh, and be satiated in between so our energy levels will be more stable now old school thought is to eat six times a day um, smaller meals and there is some truth to that in terms of spreading out our protein and optimal muscle gain uh, protein synthesis but it's probably minuscule for the majority of us and even pro bodybuilders at the elite level or people with the training age like me I joke about being old I'm not old old but I've been training for 15 years plus it, it may it's not gonna make or break your progress right it, it, it may enhance it slightly but it's that top percent so for the majority of us, spreading out our protein is a really good idea. You know, you want to eat about your body weight and protein, lean body mass, to get a rough estimate a day. You don't want to slam that 100 for me, 220 grams, 200 grams in breakfast and not have any the rest of the day. But we also don't need to eat 10 grams every half hour. So find that balance and what works for your schedule long term, you know, depending on your work schedule, kids, sleep activity, et cetera, et cetera. If you can get two to four good meals in, spreading that protein out, and keep that in there. Keep that on the weekends, keep it on your off days, keep it on vacation. Um, that will allow you to control your appetite a little bit better, uh, control, again, your energy a little bit better, and make progress in the long term. And then when we do decide to diet or bulk, we can just add a little bit of calories or take away a little bit of calories from each one of those meals. Uh, second thing we always talk about is just protein. Whether you're eating out and you're guesstimating, uh, whether you're eating at home and you have regular meals that you cook, anything else in between, focus in on that protein. Um, again, we want to hit about our body weight and lean mass per day. Uh, we want to keep it consistent uh, day in, day out, or protein intake. Uh, but you don't have to overthink it. Sometimes just ordering, you know, if we're loose and, and you know, we're not trying to step on stage and we're not trying to be a world record power lifter, just focusing in on that protein, making sure whatever meals we do cook or choose to order out, uh, the majority of it is protein based or based around our proteins. Third thing I've talked about for a long time is tracking your food. Tracking your food is obviously the most accurate way, but not only that, tracking your food ahead of time. Whether that means literally before the meal, put it in your phone before you put it in your mouth. Put it in my mouth. My mother fucking mouth. Or I'm a big fan of tracking way ahead of time. So whether you eat the same things a day, every day or not, tracking your entire day before you eat it, it allows you to know what's coming ahead. Maybe you can get a little bit excited about it. Food is supposed to be enjoyable. It's supposed to be cultural. It's a big part of my life. I love food. So why not plan ahead so you know what you get to eat uh, and then it's easier to stay uh, on with it, right? If we have a program or a coach, we step into the gym, we know exactly what we're doing from warm up to finish. If I have no clue what I'm doing in the gym and I just show up and start randomly do things, who's more likely to have a better workout, stay consistent long term and make progress long term? I don't want to duh you, but duh. Last but not least, got a question on Instagram. We're doing it all the time. So Solomon Mike 
M-I-K-K-E, 2Ks on Instagram, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday's a fitness Q&A. Try to answer all your guys' questions. Wednesday and Friday are just general Q&As. Maybe we'll switch one uh, to like lifestyle and one to like business or something. Maybe Wednesday will be lifestyle, Fridays will be business. Um, but for now, it's Mondays, pure fitness. Wednesday, Fridays, ask me anything. Uh, someone's asked about carnivore diet. Should I focus on carnivore diet like people do or calories in versus calories out? Now. What I answered, and it's obviously 10 seconds on Instagram, is calories in and calories in general aren't independent of these diets, right? All these diets rely on calories. Steak has calories. Food has calories. Water is kind of the only thing that ain't got no calories. Um, so I don't care who you are. If you lose weight on 2,000 calories and you're only eating ribeye, you'll lose weight. If you lose weight around 2,000 calories and you only eat broccoli, you'll probably lose weight. If you are losing weight on 2,000 calories and you eat a, a general balanced, nice and rounded variety of foods, you'll probably lose weight and have the most amount of fun. So there's nothing that I, you know, I think an elimination diet, unless you have something, you know, some kind of uh, issues with food, gluten, etc. an elimination diet just probably isn't it. Again, I love food. I love uh, uh, the culture of food, f cooking, Watching, sharing meals, and trying a variety of foods is something I enjoy, and I think it's a great part of life. Even if carnivore, I love steak, don't get me wrong, I love a nice ribeye, I cook a mean ribeye. Even if carnivore promised me, you know, a healthier life, whatever that means, and a longer life, whatever that even means, it's just, it's just unlikely for me to choose that path based on I want to enjoy my time here on the planet. It's all finite, we're probably all going to die unless somehow someone can upload my consciousness which may or may not happen to a little flash drive and I find a new vessel to travel around this spinning ball through space which also may or may not happen because maybe I hop onto another vessel, flesh vessel and then hop onto Mars and now I'm two vessels away from where I started and maybe we go on forever but I digress. I think enjoying my time here is way better off and I also think the health benefits of having a vegetable or fruit, oh my goodness, here and there might be worth it long term. I think a little bit of fiber in balance is going to help my stomach long term, God forbid. I just think people with these extremist attitudes trying to be controversial or trying to do something different in an industry that we don't need difference. There's a lot of science coming out on strength conditioning and, and fitness and nutrition, but there's so much we already basically know. And now we're looking into minutia of, of programming. We're looking into these little things that can help us improve, but they're just, it's, it's garbage if you ask me. It's absolute garbage. It's pure marketing. It's pure, you know, ugly duckling, black swan, red-headed stepchild. Everyone's trying to be different to create content because it's not fun and I can speak from, from experience, it's not fun to talk about the deadlift because nothing's changed in the deadlift and try to help you guys, but I truly want to help you guys so I still talk about the deadlift. There's some new ears that are still learning how to deadlift and there's some of you guys that are still trying to refine your deadlift so I still talk about it for the thousandth video because I know that's what's truly going to help people. I'm not going to invent some new type of deadlift for me to clickbait that it's now the best lift in the world to try to make more dollars and get more views. Do I want views? Uh-huh. Do I want more dollars? Uh-huh. Do I want to keep my morals and truly help people over those views and dollars? Uh-huh, times a million. So I'm going to try to feed it to you as right as I can. Feed it, no pun intended. Give it to you the best I can. No R-rated intended. I want to help you guys. And so for all those out there doing that, I give you the thumbs down, but carnivore's not the answer. It's not having some balance in your life, even from, a, again, a pure health standpoint, I can whip out the studies if you really want, but from an enjoyment of life. And the truth is I've never met a carnivore that actually only eats meat. Every car carnivore I've met, I've seen eat carbs. I've seen eat donuts. I've seen eat broccoli. And they probably put it on their Instagrams and Twitters, right? So don't be fooled by this. Don't be fooled by their raw, raw, trying to be different, tough guy, I only eat red meat enjoy yourselves, take care of yourselves, take care of your loved ones, enjoy it, and surround yourself with some good company like we say around here. Don't get me wrong, I've tried some really silly diets, I'm human just like you, and I wanna find the most optimal way to get fit, be strong, look good, 
and be healthy. But sadly, the truth is in moderation, it is in that balance and it is in enjoying life. There's no shortcut. Everyone would say that too, there's no shortcut. And they're like, but actually the, sh the, the shortcut is only ribeye. That's just not it. The only shortcut is only grass. That's not it either. Enjoy yourselves. It's an absolute pet peeve of mine. It's happening everywhere. On Instagram, it happens to be with exercises. On YouTube, it happens to be with nutrition. On Twitter, people are wiling about carnivore this and other stuff that. Keto's gone mainstream. We're going downhill. We're going downhill, kids. Stick to the truth. Stick to those you believe in. There's great guys. There's great information out there. The Eric Helms of the world, the Lane Nortons of the world. They're there to lead us. I read and follow them so that I can regurgitate what I learn and try to help you guys out. Share my journey with you. I appreciate you so much. Salam Mike, a couple tips there. Stay hydrated, stay balanced. If you're more serious about it, track your food intake. Keep that protein high, keep it a priority. Regular meals is key for so many people. Just set some times. And it's okay if you're within a half hour or whatever. Don't you know ruin your life over it. But setting times, being consistent is number one, just like our training. Is there a better or worse time to train without the day in the morning and night when I'm gonna be more powerful or more testosterone? Probably. But overall, if we just set that time in our schedule, we'll be more consistent long term, a month, a year, two years, five years from now, we're going to be closer to where we want to be, closer to our goals. So appreciate you again. New videos. Catch you on Twitch. Please come hang out, man. I'm having lots of fun. That's the community. That's the Thick Squad. T-H-I-Q. Solomon Mike, I'm out of here.